Hey guys, welcome back to the Oilers Fanatic. We know the Oilers are looking at an upgrade in goal to help them out of their current slide. Since Mike Smith returned from injury, he has given up 13 goals in three games. Miko Koskinen had a strong start, but has regressed and has continued to allow bad goals at costly times. Young prospect Stuart Skinner has progressed well and looks to be the goalie of the future for the Oilers, but right now, they need a goalie for the present. Today, I will go over the goalies I think the Oilers should target as their key options. This will be the first video in a series I'm calling Edmonton Oilers SOS, aka Save Our Season. I think these are the final days of Miko Koskinen as an Oiler, and by the trade deadline at the latest, he will have a new address. I'm not including Koskinen in the trades for any of my following targets, because I don't think these teams would take him in return. I think the Oilers will have to find a way to send him to a team like Buffalo or Arizona as a side deal. Let's get started with the targets. The first target on my list, Alexander Georgiev of the New York Rangers. Georgiev will be a restricted free agent at year's end and carries a cap hit of 2425000 In 15 games played this season, he has a goals against average of 2.89 and a save percentage of 904. At age 25, Georgiev could be an oiler for years to come if it proves to be a fit. Now why would the Rangers move him? The Rangers have committed to Igor Shesterkin as their number one goalie going forward, and they have Keith Kincaid as a goalie they can call up as a replacement backup. It's believed Georgiev would welcome a move to a destination where he can get more playing time. The Oilers would have options with Georgiev, with his contract being up, they can test drive him for the remainder of this season. If the fit isn't there, he's an RFA, so they can hold his rights and move him again in the summer. If he is a fit, they do have some negotiating power as he will only be a restricted free agent. For this season, Georgiev would be one of the better options as he has a low cap hit and is relatively low risk with potentially high upside. On the downside, it can be argued that he isn't a massive upgrade on what the Oilers already have. But, bottom line, he is an upgrade on what they currently have. Here is a trade the Oilers could do for Georgiev. To Edmonton, Alexander Georgiev. To New York, prospect goaltender Ilya Konovalov and Edmonton's 2023 fourth round draft pick. Admittedly, I may be way off on this trade. The Rangers are reportedly looking for a first round draft pick in the summer, but the asking price may have come down to a second round draft pick. The Oilers don't have their second this year, but could offer next year's second. I came up with this trade looking at the fact that with the Oilers having Georgiev and Skinner, with Olivier Rodrigue still in the pipeline in Bakersfield, they could afford to move Konovalov, and for a good prospect, maybe the Rangers would take him and a fourth? But just a guess on my part. In my opinion, acquiring Georgiev is one of the better moves on the table for the Oilers. The second target on my list? Linus Allmark of the Boston Bruins. Allmark signed a four-year deal with Boston last summer. The contract carries a cap hit of $5 million. In 14 games played this season, he has a goals against average of 2.58 and a save percentage of 917. Very strong numbers, and at $5 million per season, he signed to a solid contract that will expire when he's 32. So why would the Bruins move him? Well, they may or may not. The Bruins are preparing to bring back Tuku Rask, and with Jeremy Swayman NHL ready, they could go with Rask and Swayman as their tandem, making Allmark expendable. However, recent talk suggests that the Bruins may just send Swayman down to the AHL and go with Allmark and Rask as their new tandem. The Bruins did just sign Allmark last summer, so they may not be too keen to trade him so quickly. However, let's move forward with the notion that the Bruins are willing to entertain moving Allmark. Now, I didn't mention this with Georgiev, but it will be a sticking point with any goalie trade the Oilers try to make. Mike Smith is signed for next season at $2.2 million, and Stuart Skinner will no longer be waivers exempt, and especially with his recent play, there is little doubt that he would be claimed if the Oilers put him on waivers next year. So how do you fit Linus Allmark at a $5 million price tag going forward? One solution would come if Mike Smith's recent injury history continues. We could see him end up on long-term injured reserve, and in that situation, his cap hit would be freed up, and the Oilers could go with Allmark and Skinner. If Mike Smith is healthy, the Oilers would have the option of carrying three goaltenders. Skinner's cap hit for next season is just 750000 
Obviously, that is not ideal, for a multitude of reasons. The Oilers could also try and move Smith next summer, though that could be easier said than done. Here is a trade the Oilers could do for Allmark. To Edmonton, Linus Allmark, and Jake DeBrusque, with a total cap hit of $8,675,000. To Boston, Edmonton's 2022 first-round draft pick, Zach Cassian and Tyson Berry, with a total cap hit of $7,700,000. I think it will take a first to pry Allmark out of Boston. They don't have to trade him. Moving Cassian and Barry helps the Oilers with their cap problems for the next few years, but there would still be maneuvering needed. They should also both be useful pieces for the Bruins. For the Oilers, they have the goalie they were looking for and can test drive another young winger and potentially fill another hole with Jake DeBrusque. At the end of the day, this won't be an easy deal to pull off, but if both sides are willing, the Oilers should contemplate it. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. The third target on my list, Jake Allen of the Montreal Canadiens. Allen is signed to a two-year deal. The contract carries a cap hit of $2,875,000. In 23 games played this season, he has a goals against average of 3.10 and a save percentage of 903. It's certainly not stellar, but it's an upgrade on Koskinen at a goals against average of 3.19 and a save percentage of 900. Not to mention that everyone in Montreal has had a dismal season so far. So why would the Canadians move him? Carey Price appears to be on the verge of returning from Montreal, and they have Samuel Montembaum to step in as a backup. The Canadians are in rebuild mode, and it would be easy to see Allen as expendable. Rumors are also swirling that it could be Carey Price leaving town instead of Jake Allen. I've already made a whole video looking at a potential Carey Price trade to Edmonton. You can check it out at the link in the description below. The long and the short of it is, I like Carey Price, but I think the deal is just too complicated to pull off for both sides. But, who knows, stranger things have happened. For Allen, he's at a cap hit that the Oilers can more easily afford, and his contract length is a reasonable two years. He certainly wouldn't be a game-breaker for the Oilers, but he could be reliable in a tandem. Here is a trade the Oilers could do for Allen. To Edmonton, Jake Allen. To Montreal, Edmonton's 2022 third-round draft pick. I can't see the asking price for Allen being overly high. His recent play wouldn't justify that, and I think the Canadians would be happy to bank a draft pick for him. I think this is a decent deal for the Oilers to make. The worry may be, though, that it's not enough to push the needle. Alexander Georgiev, Linus Allmark, and Jake Allen are my three main targets for the Oilers, but two other names I'll mention are Semyon Varlamov and Anton Hudobin. I covered Varlamov in my most recent trade proposals video. I've posted a link to it below. Varlamov could be a strong ad for the Oilers, and the Islanders might be a team willing to take back Koskinen in the return package as a backup to Ilya Sorokin. Anton Hudobin has been linked to the Oilers since the summer, but with his struggles this year, his acquisition is far less appealing. He's definitely available. Dallas put him on waivers, and he's currently in the AHL. Hudobin is making $3.33 million for this year and next, but it's believed Dallas would be willing to retain salary, and the asking price is obviously very low. I think you only go after Hudobin at this point if you want to see if he can be rejuvenated on a new team. Well guys, that's my list. What do you guys think? Who would you target? Should the Oilers just go with Smith and Skinner and take their chances? Sound off in the comments below. Look for more trade targets and speculation in the days to come. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic? Thanks for being a fan. Take care, guys.